Hello, good afternoon. My name is Janice Johnson Plumer. I'm the Community Outreach Specialist with the Broughton Public Schools. And basically, I'm just coming here today to do a PSA public service announcement to let families and parents know of the Broughton Public Schools District that, um, as you are aware, um, back in April and May, uh, we started issuing out what is referred to as pandemic EBT benefits. These benefits were basically provided to uh, the first wave of people that are on DTA or SNAP benefits to assist households to purchase uh, food that they need. Um, each card or benefit was $3.99 per child. And like I said, the first wave went out to those who were on the DTA SNAP benefits. Now the second wave uh, occurred between May and June in which an actual PEBT card was sent to many households, especially for the um, district, the school district of Brockton Public Schools. And this card was basically targeted or for uh, students that are on free and reduced lunch or for families who may not have or ever applied or be eligible for the SNAP benefits. And many families, uh, according to uh, data that was provided to us, um, it was about 1,800 originally that of households that have yet to pin the card. So that number has slightly decreased down to 1,200, um, but the main goal is really to just ensure that all households have the ability to pin the cards. So I know that many households are saying, um, you know, I have these cards, what do I do with them? I'm not sure of the process. And the process is very straightforward, um, but I know that sometimes it, it can be a little overwhelming because I know that the directions may say to utilize the social security number uh, for the directions, which in the case that is not what you have to do. You really have to just use the last four digits of the case number that was provided with the card or and the date of birth of your, of your student or your child. Um, many families have basically stated to me that they have yet to receive the case number that comes with the card. And I want to assure families and parents that if you have yet to receive your case number, please feel free to contact me directly at 508-208-5518 and I can be able to assist looking up the case number for your card so that you can activate it and create a pen so that you can utilize the benefits that have been provided with the help of the Shaw Foundation and the Department of Transitional Assistance. Um, I know that there are some parents and families that have not received any type of um, correspondence or documentation uh, for the PEBT card. You can also contact me directly at 508-208-5518 and I will take your child's information and I will submit it to Department of Transitional Assistance for this week. Um, it, it, I'm really urging parents and families to please contact me um, if you have any questions about activating the, these PEBT cards because it's, it's very important that you utilize the benefits that have been provided um, to purchase uh, groceries and food for your household um, for our students. Um, it really just, it pains me somewhat because I know that there's still an abundance of families out there who have yet to receive the cards. Um, but also you can email me as well. And my email is Janice, J-A-N-I-C-E, Johnson, J-O-H-N-S-O-N, Plumer, P-L-U-M-E-R, at B psma.org and I will respond to your email as, as, as soon as possible. Uh, again, if you need assistance activating or pinning your PEBT card, please feel free to contact me directly at 508-208-5518 and I would be glad to assist you. Thank you.